All right, first up is Joe Crow. <laughs> Sorry about that. And it's uh, giving a talk on uh, Salt DNS, automate all the things. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm not Jim Crow, I get that a lot. <laughs> but I am Joe Crow, it does rhyme. It's easier to remember that way. Um, I am from Comcast. Um, I work on the DNS team. We do about 20 million customers just for DNS. It is a very big network. If anybody saw the uh, talk yesterday from Eddie Winstead saying, uh, so you inherited a DNS server, I inherited a lot. <laughs> we, uh, we went from one automation platform to another um, based on some issues that we've had with Puppet and the team that was running it. Um, it was a centralized location. We didn't have the control that we wanted, so if something broke with that prob with that automation tool, we weren't able to do anything about it in servicing 20 million customers. We want to make sure that we have the control. We had the over uh, we had oversubscribed and growth issues, and uh, we were using Ansible to do other jobs that Puppet couldn't do. Um, we couldn't extend our infrastructure to with the new things that we were integrating. We were integrating. Uh, some new network equipment, new, new architecture. We had some dependency loops, so if A was B and, and we wanted something to do with C, we couldn't do that with Puppet. Um, and we also wanted to control our own destiny. Who doesn't? So we got there by replacing Puppet with something we can control. Um, we also replaced our centralized Kickstart servers to something closer to our data center, so we had our Kickstarters, Kickstart servers closer as well. Um, so we wanted to get the change man management in support of the new infrastructure. Again, we want control. This way we know if anything's broken, we can fix it, why it got broken, and how we can fix it a lot faster. So we got salty. Um, we included things with salt um, because it has Ansible uh, push controls and Puppet pull controls. Uh, we had state fi files similar to Puppet. We had data separation built in. It looked very extensible, and uh, individual states or groups of states could be applied easily. We thought the uh, conversion would be kind of easy, and it was at the first. You know, puppet, puppet files to state files, fax to grains, Hira to pillar, ERB to Jinja Mako, which that was a little bit more for us that you know we had to learn, but it was definitely uh, the right step. The actual conversion took months. Um, we also, like I said, we we're looking into network uh, automation, and we looked at Napalm. Napalm had a lot of great things we wanted to do, but it really wasn't suited to needs that we wanted and needed. So we created our own module um, that used Vault to secure all of our passwords, our enable passwords, so that way there is no open passwords being sent to anybody else over the wire. Um, we also created another module for network math this is based off of our host names, based off of our pillar data, uh, and based off of the role of the server. Um, this would ensure that all across the board, we have the same exact setup, and no matter what, there's no hands going in there and gonna be able to touch it and mess it up. Uh, we also had wanted to do one driver file so we can integrate multiple DNS vendors and their libraries and not have to worry about having special stuff for them. We did refine our pillar code to be able to pull from one source. We rolled out uh, a new infrastructure using Salt Stack, and we did move to our own Kickstart servers. This is better performance and more control. Like I said, we want our control. Um, salt doesn't dissolve right away. Some of the bumps in the road is, you know, we had to deal with Python. Some of us in our team do not like Python. Uh, unit testing with pillar using virtual machines. That was that. That's still something that we're learning to do, but it is. Uh, it's one of those bumps in the roads. The Jinja and Mako without Python experience, again, or you know, some, there's a few of us on our team that are not Python savvy or friendly, um, and the design changes and the continue improvements. The results, we have more integration with our infrastructure, our network devices, our vet servers, our vendor software, easier integration with anything. We also have good unit tests for hand-built modules. We also have one source for a given method, multiple base, um, module based. So again, those two modules that we created are a godsend for everything that we need to do within our, within our uh, infrastructure. We also have a much better targeted uh, information gathering 
and faster bare metal to, um, to light up production times. Um, the, be the better uh, targeted um, information gathering is we can pretty much say, hey, all these servers, we want to know what their host names are, we want to know what their serial numbers are, and it comes out in a nice, pretty format. So that is uh, my talk, and if you guys have any questions, that would be great.